really want to talk about menism. 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 Wait, what? Man, the, bi the bitch said manism. Yeah, that's what I thought. But what the fuck does that mean? Manism. Is that when a, a dude, you know, f finishes in the eye of... It's not that as well. What the fuck is manism? Fuck. I think she's trying to say meninism, but she's missing a sibyl. Syllable. Menism. Don't worry, love. We can fix this. Menism. Too many? Menonism. Perfect. Menonism. Wait, you do know that menonism. Fuck. Menonism is just a parody of feminism. Like, it's not a fucking serious movement. It's a joke. You know, um, real feminists believe that we should be allowed to wear what we want and that sort of thing. Within reason. Come on. Fucking. Honestly. I wouldn't want to see this as much as I would want to see this. Bearing approves. Y you hear what I'm saying? Is it making any sense to you, lady? But it's not like, I don't know, it's just not as crazy oh, no. oh, we should oh. As, it, as, it, as it's made out to be. Oh. Yeah. I hear that a lot. You know, that's probably the most preached feminist Rant. That feminism makes so much sense. I would, I would suggest that the most correct feminist is an anti-feminist. Because an anti-fucking feminist is usually the one that has reason when they talk. Actual shit does not fly out of their mouths when they speak. Because most of the time, anti-feminists are often speaking the truth. An anti-feminist should be a feminist. That's what the meaning of feminism should be. Anti-feminist. Because an anti-feminist has more logic. They come from a place of reason, fact, and stats. You can't fucking argue with stats. I mean, you can. At least 87% of the time you can. Fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. We're both fucking idiots. Look at all the other countries in the world. In pretty much all the other countries in the world, at least all the third world countries, women are frowned upon. Women are shitted on. Women are shitted on. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere in the world. You just said it in the third world countries and now it's everywhere in the fucking world? What the f- Come on, Rory. Just hear her out. This is what happens when you have nobody to talk to and you read shit online. This bitch is cr- Whoa, whoa, whoa. YouTube's new hate speech policy, man. Fuck. Sorry. You can't just be going around calling crazy bitches crazy bitches. But she is. Ah. Uh, she is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But bearing, she's a fucking- Hate speech policy, motherfucker. YouTube aren't going to stand for this much free speech. I can see it now. They'll take this retarded cunt side and we'll get some sort of fucking truth strike. Right. Okay. Shit. In so many countries, it's not only legal to like rape and beat up women, it's encouraged. Let's- Whoa. What's that? So many countries where it's legal to rape and beat up women. Not only that, it's encouraged! Where are these countries? I wouldn't mind getting in on a piece of that. If it's legal. It's encouraged! That would be fucking awesome. I mean, it's for a dude. Name one country, city, town, neighborhood, where men are hated. Okay, sure. New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Washington, San Francisco. Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Mattawa, La Paloma. Philadelphia, Seattle, Portland, Boston, Austin, Houston, Minneapolis. Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, Canada, Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tallapoosa, Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock. Northampton, Cambridge. San Diego, Atlanta, Shepherdville, Jacksonville, Waterville, Costa Rica, Pittsfield, Springfield, Bakersfield, Shreveport, Hackensack, Cadillac. Based on the numbers from Google Analytics, you can see which towns 
most uh, auto straddlers come from. What's an auto straddler? What's an auto straddler? Yeah. Well, this is on their website. <clears throat> Founded in March 2009 by Reese Bernard and Alexandra Vega, it's still run by a dedicated team of indentured masochists. Autostraddle is an intelligent, hilarious, and provocative voice and a progressively feminist online community for a new generation of kick-ass lesbians, bisexuals, and otherwise cockhead ladies. I, I, added, I added the cockhead there. Shit, he's not joking. Well, I mean, he's joking about the cockhead part, obviously, but he's not joking about this auto straddle thing. We might have to have a closer look at this at some stage. Does anyone actually know one? Like, what's the typical auto straddler like? Big hairy butch dykes. Well, I'm sure not all of them are big hairy butch dykes. 80%. 60%. 90% of them are. And they all lived happily ever after. (laughs) 